Hi, I'm Jason from Ishimoto. Today we're going to go over part four of our video review series for the 2016 Camaro SS. We're going to review the radiators, there's three of them, and the oil cooler system too. As you see, we have much of the uh, splash shielding and the front bumper pulled off of our 2016 Camaro SS so you can kind of see how all the ducting works and how all the, where all the radiators are. Uh, first thing you see here is the AC condenser. That's pretty much standard in any other car. Um, you see on the side here, there's uh, three radiators. There's one, there's the main one, and then there's the other auxiliary one on the other side. And it's pretty cool how they work. They all work in conjunction with each other uh, to basically make one big, large cooling system to cool this car a little bit more efficiently than just what one radiator would do. The main radiator, which is this right here, works in conjunction with the two auxiliary radiators in the front, meaning that it's just one big system. There's no thermostats, there's no, they don't run in uh, series or anything with each other. They basically run in parallel, meaning coolant from the lower hose comes out, runs through the two smaller radiators on the side and then back into the main radiator. And right here we have our upper hose, which is like any other vehicle, it goes from the main radiator into the engine with a the thermostat. And this whole lower hose assembly is kind of where all the magic starts to happen. The hot coolant comes out of the engine here, and there's three different branch points where the coolant branches off. On this hose here, it branches off and goes to the passenger side auxiliary radiator. Down here, it branches off on this hose. This branches off and goes to the driver's side auxiliary radiator. And this hose here goes to the integrated oil cooler in the oil pan that we'll show later. Out of the auxiliary radiators, the coolant comes out of this tube. Out of the driver's side auxiliary radiator, it comes across to this point where it meets up with the return tube, which is this tube right here from the other auxiliary radiator on the uh, passenger side. And they meet into this point and then they go back into the main radiator as kind of a big, large cooling system that kind of works. Don't think of it as three radiators, think of it as one very big radiator that just kind of branches off a little bit. So if you think of it that way, it's a little bit easier. And this is the uh, oil cooler that uses coolant to exchange heat with the oil in the pan. Uh, this sits level with the pan, so all the oil that is in this cooler is just kind of sitting in the pan as well. It doesn't really work any, under any kind of oil pressure like other types of coolers work. And these two fittings are for the coolant that come into the heat exchanger to exchange heat with the oil. As I touched on before, the lower hose has, the lower radiator hose has three branches, two for the auxiliary radiators and then one for this oil cooler that comes back from the front of the engine, exchanges heat and then it comes back into, uh, goes back into a port of the engine and that's how the oil cooler works. In our experience, these fluid coolers only kind of lower oil temps down to the same temp as coolant, usually 220, 230 degrees under most driving conditions. Thanks for watching. There's certainly a lot of new technology on this car and a lot of cool things to go over. So in our next video, we will go over the transmission cooler and rear differential cooling system of our vehicle.